for somebody in your family or a neighbour or someone in your community rely on you? If so, please keep listening. My name is Katie Hurd and I work for the NHS in Torbay. We know that there are many, many people in Torbay who support a family member or friend, whether it's somebody who is getting older and finds it more difficult to manage for themselves, whether it's somebody with a disability or illness, whether it's somebody with a mental health or drug or alcohol issue. Often it's their family members and friends or someone in their community that they rely on. What most people don't realise is that that may make them an unpaid carer and therefore there is a lot of support for them. They can join Torway Carers Services and they will get a card that looks like this. This can provide them with advice and information, courses about caring. It can work as a discount card in many local shops. And if they attend a hospital appointment or visit some their person they care for in hospital, then they're entitled to free parking at the hospital. There's much more as well, but too much to tell you here. So, we would like to hear from you. If English isn't your first language, there are other alternatives that we can consider to help you. So please just contact us. The details are at the end of this video. We also have a number of people in our community, such as Imagine, who will help you to access our support if you need it. The second message is about COVID vaccination and testing. If the support that you provide to somebody in your family or friends or your community means that you have to get closer than two metres or six feet and they are vulnerable to COVID, that means that you are eligible to be vaccinated now. If you get carer's allowance or are registered with your doctor as a carer, you're eligible to be vaccinated now. This is because it's really important that we try and prevent you from getting COVID and help you continue support that you give. At the end of this video, there are details of how to register so that you can be vaccinated now. The other thing is about regular testing for COVID. All those people who provide support to a family member or friend are eligible to have what is known as a lateral flow test. That's the testing that you can do at home yourself and the results are visible within 30 minutes. This means that we can prevent the spread of COVID and the people that are particularly vulnerable to COVID should be more protected. Again, at the end of the video are the details of how to do this. If you've got school aged children, secondary school aged children, this is the same sort of testing as they are having at school now. And so you may well be having to do it at home for them too. I am Santosh Kumar Sarkar, a retired doctor from NHS, and I am 90 plus years old. In this pandemic situation, I decided to take the COVID vaccine to safeguard myself. I have taken both the shots of the COVID vaccine, first in last week of December, and the second one in the first week of January 2021. After both the injections, I had little side effect like body act and which lasted for just one day and after that I am completely all right. No other effect at all. Ami Santosh Kumar Sarkar, NHS take retired Kurachi. Our Bortoman boys are 90 plus. In pandemic situation, we decided that we have a COVID injection. We have a two injection in the first time in December, the third time in January. We have two injections in the 
আমার সামান্য শরীরে ব্যথা ছিল এবং সেটা জাস্ট একদিন পর্যন্ত কন্টিনিউ করেছিল তারপর থেকে আর কিছুই হয়নি আমি কমপ্লিটলি ভালো আছি হাই আই এম এলিয়ান অ্যান্ড আই গোয়ান থ্যালি থ্রি রিজনস ওয়াই আই গোয়ান গেট দ্য কোভিড ভ্যাকসিন ফার্স্ট ইউ উইল হেল্প কিপ মি ফ্রম গেটিং কোভিড অ্যান্ড ইট ইভেন প্রিভেন্টস মি ফ্রম ট্রান্সমিটিং ইট সো আই ক্যান হোপফুলি গো অ্যান্ড ভিজিট মাই গ্র্যান্ড প্যারেন্টস ভেরি সুন সেকেন্ড দ্য ভ্যাকসিন ইজ সেফ দের হ্যাভ বিন মেনি ক্লিনিক্যাল ট্রায়েলস বিফোর ইট গেট অ্যাপ্রুভড অ্যান্ড থার্ড অ্যান্ড ইজ এন ইম্পর্টেন্ট টুল টু স্টপ দিস প্যান্ডেমিক Ich bin Elian und ich erzähle euch heute drei Gründe, wieso ich mich vor Corona impfen lassen werde. Erstens, die Impfung unterstützt mein Immunsystem, so dass ich hoffentlich nicht krank werde. Und das verhindert, dass ich das Virus übertrage, so dass ich hoffentlich bald meine Großeltern wieder besuchen gehen kann. Zweitens, die Impfung ist sicher. Es fanden viele medizinische Versuche statt, bevor die Impfung zugelassen wurde. Und drittens, Es ist, ein, es ist sehr wichtig, um die Pan diese Pandemie zu stoppen. Ich bin Rina Schorkart, 77 plus. In this pandemic time, I thought I should take vaccines. And I did. I didn't have much of um, side effects, except some tiredness and um, army. And for a few days, that's all. I'm Rina Schorkart. 77 ट and uh, to be honest i was um very apprehensive about it initially because just uh, the thought of having an injection has uh, made me scared because like as a child if i was getting even my blood tests done and stuff people would know in the neighborhood that <laughs> somebody is getting the injection but uh, i think um my my grandfather just said one thing to me and he said that you have a choice either you get the vaccine or you have covid i know it's it's like very um, basic but i think that's what made me realize that that's that i i do want to protect myself and i'm fortunate to be able to do that you know uh after taking the vaccine to be honest i didn't even see the size of the injection and i was i was like i don't want to see it i'm going to look the other way and have the shot taken on my arm i was very happy after that i was like wow i did not feel it i literally did not feel it but anyways um the side effects were pretty intense i mean like i was feeling uh feverish uh constant shivers in the night and fatigued for the next couple of days and because i live on my own it was kind of difficult because i was i refused to let any of my friends you know come in and get me food and all because i don't know i just had this thing of not bothering them but anyways it's different people react to it differently but it's just a day and a half and i'm glad it's over but but it was it's i'm 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 happy to have taken it so The third message is about the census. You've probably seen it advertised on the television or have received something through the post that looks like that. This is really important for the country to find out information that helps with planning the services both nationally and in our area. 
there is a question about caring. I think it's number 24, but it's really important that everybody in Torbay who provides support to someone in their family or someone in their community, that they tick that question because that enables us to get the support and funding that we require to support you. That's not just whether you are the main person in your family that does it, but does anybody else in your family or community help out? If you care for an older relative who lives with you, do your children also help out? Anybody who provides any support, any hours, can tick the box and then say how many hours they provide that support for. Quite often we find that family members and friends provide a lot of support, not just doing practical things like shopping or cleaning, whatever it might be, personal care, but also keeping an eye on somebody. If somebody has mental health issues or a learning disability, they provide a lot of ongoing support. So please, those three messages, remember, see if you can join Torbay Carers and we'll find out what works best for you. Secondly, think about the COVID vaccination and testing. We can link you into that support. And thirdly, please do complete the census forms. It remains anonymous and for a hundred years. So please do support, help us to help you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.